What's up guys, it's Sir Mr. Cherries here and before we get started, if none of you have a uh, Roblox Studio like I have, you can download it uh, on the develop section, well, which I'm in right now, so you click on develop, which is here now, and then there's a bit called download, so it automatically gives you a download once you click it, and then you'll have to install it, which the computer will ask you to. So once you've done that, you open up Roblox Studio and then we're going to go into edit mode. It's basically where our, where we um, make our scripts. So we're not going to use build mode because it plays the scripts once you're building or somewhat. So yeah, we use this. So we could just use WASD um, keys, like WASD keys, and move about with our camera. Right, um, in this tutorial we're going to be doing about properties and basic scripting. Well, which will be similar to properties. Um, if you don't have Explore and Properties, then you can go up to the toolbar, click um, click View, and then there's Explore and Properties. So right now, it's not on my screen anymore because I clicked them. So to get them back, you click Explore, and then you click Properties. So you have your Explore like in here. Well, imagine you have your Properties right here. You first have your Explorer right there, and then you um, uh, drag this bit down here until uh, the background like you know shows up and then you put it on there so that's how we um ha that's how i set my um roblox studio up like that uh, originally so now um <coughs> we're going to go into the toolbar click home and then we're going to do something with the part so then uh the in this part um you can the properties can be changed manually uh by changing color and you can either change the transparency to 0 0.5 for instance or for example or you can either make it very transparent and it'll still it'll still be active but it's transparent so yeah you could do something like that and the reflectance you can actually make it a bit more shiny but if you want if you want to make it too shiny the the car will will be reflecting all over the skybox so, or or something like that <coughs> so so what I would do, I would just do like 0 0.3 because that's shiny enough, especially if you're making a gold brick. Now um, the anchor, the anchor right here, if you click that then the brick will not fall out, fall out the sky. I'll show you uh, quickly before we move on to something else. So if you unanchor that and then you uh, click run, the brick falls down and once you anchor that the brick doesn't fall down, it just stays on into the sky. So so that's basically how you do that. But I'll show you that in the script uh, first thing. So so right now we are going to use a script. So we um, click on our workspace, um, <coughs> right click it, insert a basic object, and then we're going to insert a script. Let me just find it, there we go. So in the script we need to tell the script what to do with our brick. So to do that, we're going to do game.workspace, <coughs> excuse me, game.workspace.part.transparency1. So then, so you change the transparency to 1 uh, without using a property. So you, so if we run it, it's transparent, but it still falls out, falls out the sky. And you can do something else. You could do the reflection as well. Reflectance equals one, and that'll be the same as transparency, but a different kind of like event. Right. Next, we're gonna do the anchored bit and the can collide. I forgot to tell you about the can collide bit. The, you can change the can collide in properties by unticking it and ticking it, as I'll show you. So down here, um. The behavior, um, they have an anchored bit and a can collide bit, which I do understand, and a locked bit. If you had this locked, then you no longer move the brick or anything. You can't do anything with it. And if you unlock it, then you then you can actually move the brick. Uh, you can do that on a model as well, so they're particularly the same. Now, um, if you don't know what appearance is is up there, appearance means how it looks. And like the appearance of it, it looks red, which is actually which which is actually red. So if if you have this transparent, then someone would be like, it's pretty transparent. Well, it is transparent. So appearance means how it looks, or or how the how the person has its style around himself. 
something like that. It's, it's how a person looks. Well, whenever they wear something quite, you know, if it's, I don't know, could be hot colours, could be cold colours, um, every sort of thing. <coughs> uh, back to this tutorial, by the way. So in the script, game.workspace.anchored, you don't put numbers in there, but you can actually either do true or false. It's a bit like asking questions to people, like some, something like, uh, do I live in England, true or false? And it's actually true, I do live in England. It's very hot at the moment. <coughs> but it's very cold in winter. <laughs> because it's a bit of a humid continental, but it's a uh, temperate climate, it is. So um, we do true if it's not anchored. So we have that anchored. Oh, sorry about that. We're supposed to run it, and the brick's not falling down. So if you put that to false or have it without the scripts, then it's no longer anchored. So if we, if we run that, it just falls down. Um, you, you can add something else to that though. So you do game dot workspace. You do the same for part. Do can well uncan collide. Uncan collide. Oh, needs a capital C. Can collide. True. Well, what can collide is well, which I forgot to tell you that from when I showed you can collide. Can collide is. Uh, for example, you you know it's can collide. Um, you touch your desk, that's can collide. And, and if if you can if you can go through the object of a of a desk, that's uncan collided. <coughs> Space. Uh, if you know what I mean, well, I can't really explain it very well. <laughs> so yeah, you could do every other bit with it. And what else you can do with it? You could uh, wait, workspace parts. You could change the brick color of it by doing this. You do brick color equals brick color dot new bright blue and then we're gonna have a look so as you see it turns bright blue because I scripted that brick so now um what else you can do I'll show you one thing so if you do if you uh, assign the part as brick you do game dot workspace dot part and then what you basically do, you do brick dot transparency um, so point five, and you can normally do the brick color, brick color dot brick color dot new. Excuse my phone, guys. Bright. She needs capital B. Bright green. <coughs> Just make it green when it, when the script starts. And then you could do brick dot anchored. You could basically put everything in it, really. But uh, unless you know what you're doing, uh, unless you don't know what you're doing, sorry. So anchored true. Now let's see. So it's half transparent. It's green and it's anchored. So yes, there we have it. So so basically, you don't have to do gain dot workspace dot part. You can actually just call it a brick. So um. The brick here, that's actually what the part is called. And and when you put equals game.workspace.part, that actually finds the part, what what uh, the script needs to to find, and then you do the other bit. So no need to use game.workspace.part when you're just naming things. And then um, what else you can do? Uh, if you put the script inside part, then you will have to do script dot parent dot parent well script dot parent that's basically the part g dot parent dot part so the two parents catches the part so that's basically so that basically parents the part when you put two parents dot transparency five and then we'll put that anchored as well Part dot anchored true. So you, so you can either do that, and so you don't have to do gain dot workspace blah blah blah. So run that, and yet it's transparent. So um, you you can fool about with it and see what you come up with. You can just you know discover cool things when you do a lot of scripting. 
I mean, practice makes better, really. So I'll be doing a few series of scripting tutorials and everything and something about using the Roblox Studio, really. So if you enjoyed this um, tutorial and you, if you want to see more, um, give this a like and if you have any thoughts, leave out a comment and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials and more videos out of my uh, channel or out of me, really. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.